In this video, I will be explaining everything the portable Crucial X6 can do and how it can help you. I'll show you how it looks and what comes out of the box. I'll test it. I'll also show you comparisons with other SSDs. Then I'll give you my final thoughts and how this has helped me or not. And if this is a good product for you. So the portable Crucial X6 has a huge capacity. You can pick between two terabytes and one terabyte. And just reading off of what Crucial had said themselves, it can hold up to over 10,000 photos, 50 hours of video, 3,000 songs, 200 gigabytes of documents, and much room to spare. It is really fast. It can go up to 540 megabytes per second. I'm gonna be doing some tests just to show you even even some other comparisons between other ssds i have on my computer and other hard drives that i got it is very tiny and lightweight guys this is the box already and here is the product itself i mean it's super thin and it's very lightweight like super lightweight crucial says it is lighter than your car keys and it fits right between your fingertips it's it's all true like it's super light it can resist falls so if i drop it right now well i mean i don't want to do it but if i were to drop it by accident it's strong enough to support that it has a broad compatibility that means it works with the pc mac android ipad pro 8 ps4 xbox one guys you can order this in the link down below in the description i get a small commission out of this so if you need this product and would like to support my channel at the same time then please go through my link it will mean so much to me now here's what you get out of the box so inside the box you have the Crucial, obviously, it's actually a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Honestly, I mean, look how small that thing is right there. We got that, plus this USB uh, adapter. It's USB type C to USB type A. Now first, let me open this little thing up right here. So it even says what to do here, connect Crucial external SSDs to USB a devices okay so there's probably gonna be a cable in here then i assume here it is i actually need this for uh my vr and so that would be pretty cool unless i have to use this for the crucial itself so i'll see what to do with this here it is the crucial x6 up to one terabyte now it also says for windows mac os and android all right let's go ahead and open it up right now and here is the device of course i open it up on backwards i mean Come on, really? Pop this thing out? Yep, like I said, you get this little tiny USB-C to USB-C. Just for reference, that is that is how long it is. It's really nice and sturdy. So if you wanna connect this and keep it connected, it's probably not gonna slip right off. Little instruction manual right here. Now here's my portable Crucial Exit SSD of one terabyte. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. Very nice packaging, by the way, if I do say so myself. And here it is. Wow, look how tiny this thing is. Like, it's so small and very thin. That's my hand, you know? It's like really, really small. I'm just cover it like that. Anyway, I was thinking about using this not only as a portable, but I might use this actually as like a, like a standard, normal, regular SSD, permanent one. You know, I might just put this in into my computer and just keep it there because it has a terabyte. I don't have a terabyte. Actually, I only have one terabyte. I just don't have enough storage for my computer, so I might just use this external as actually an internal one. But I'll see how to do that and I'll let you guys know. This product was provided by Crucial themselves. They sent me the SSD and were kind enough to give me the USB-C to USB-A adapter. I actually didn't need this because my computer already has a USB-C port, but it was actually really useful for other things uh, for like my VR stuff that I got because I am a VR channel. So if you do want to connect it to like your Xbox One, which I don't think has a USB-C port, then I would buy this. This is just plug and play. You just plug in the Crucial and you can just start transferring files and videos and photos and whatever you want to do. Now, can you use this as a fixed SSD? Uh, as in, can you use this as just a regular SSD, you know, different software, have different games to run on this device? Well, the answer is yes, but I wouldn't recommend uh, installing anything like the, like using this to boot up your computer or anything like that. Because what if you do actually need to, uh, dis well, like right now I had to disconnect this. It was connected to my computer. I actually have some videos on here. So I'm not gonna have my whole computer in here windows whatever because i'm recording a video right now so i would keep that in mind but you can completely use this as if it's a extra just extra space uh for many things for games you can use this for games for software like like editing software and photoshop and all that kind of stuff you can definitely use this 
And in that case, it is really useful. Now, here are the results when testing the product. They match the description in the box. Here's just a quick comparison between the X8, the X6, and the MX500. The MX500 is actually a fixed SSD where you put it in your computer and you keep it there, you know, with all the screws and stuff. I made a whole review about this. Make sure to go check that out right here. Oh, sorry, over here and in the description. Now, the two terabyte version of the Crucial X8 compared to the Crucial X6 two terabyte version is $20 more expensive. But of course, the X8 can go up to 1,050 megabytes per second, whereas the X6 can go up to 540 megabytes per second. Now, which one suits you? Now, if you're looking for an extra SSD for, you know, pictures, games, anything, anything related honestly where you're not like maybe using editing software on this or anything like downloading huge files that you know you need to go kind of quick and transfer give it to your buddy i don't know stuff like that then this is actually a great option uh just for extra space but if you do need that extra speed to put up software like i'm just taking uh for example editing software like i edit my software i would need the crucial x8 because it's a lot more, it can read stuff a lot faster, like twice as faster, actually, if you do the math. So doing like 4K video will actually run a lot smoother compared to this one. So if that's you and you need all that extra speed and power, then I highly suggest you investing those extra, what is it, 20 bucks to get the X8. Now, if you do need more of like a fixed SSD, I actually do recommend you getting, you know, the ones made for it. Uh, for example, the MX500 is around $115 for the one terabyte version, and it can go up to 560 megabytes per second, which is not only a little bit higher than the X6, this one right here, but it's also a little bit cheaper, and it is fixed in your computer, and you're not touching it again. Now, here are kind of my final thoughts on this product. I actually got really lucky because I needed this product. Uh, I was running out of space on my on both of my hard drives. So this was really useful. But if it were up to me uh, to decide which one I would get, I would probably get a fixed SSD by Crucial. I would get it by Crucial because I trust them. And my family has like four SSDs by them and not a single one has failed us yet. Now here's a quick description of what Crucial says is reliable and durable, backed by Micron, one of the largest manufacturers of flash storage in the, world, in the world. But if I were on my Xbox, I would definitely get this for the extra space that it provides. I just like how it's so small and light because actually I'm using this as like a fixed SSD because I can just have it back in my computer and it's kind of like hanging off the cord, but it's actually perfectly fine for me because it's so light. It's not bending anything. It's not breaking anything and it's perfectly fine there. If you guys want this product, make sure to go in the link down below in the description. Like I said earlier, that means so much for me. But other than that, that is it for the review of the Crucial X6. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel, Diamond.